Hello. Look, it's not as though I didn't appreciate the invite to come along here in person, if you take my meaning. No, 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 no. No, I wouldn't want you to get the impression that I didn't appreciate being asked. There's nothing I would have liked better than to spend a week in parts foreign with you, flying the Australian flag, so to speak. But the uh, decision wasn't mine. To tell you the truth, it was the missus. She don't understand the first thing about duty-free. I think it's got something to do with the word free. And she thinks it's her duty to get as much stuff as possible in the shortest possible time. But the old of Orchard Road was closed for a week after her last visit. But I, uh, I must admit, she, uh, she made some very good buys. I've, um, I've still got a few thousand dollar sapphire rings I could let go for, say, 100 quid. But I could only let them go at this price to close personal friends like all of you, or any friends of yours, or anyone at all you might know who might like to save a few sobs as well. As you probably know, I've been getting regular reports from your esteemed president, um, Colin D. Sods, on uh, how things are going and who's not pulling their weight. Well, I mean, it hardly seems coincidental that things have been improving ever since I took control. I mean, CBO bookings are up everywhere except Sydney. Oh, and we're taking steps to fix that. Stand on me if we're not. And it's always good to see new members joining the flag family. It seems everyone liked our commercials, oh, except Olmsted, who we have forced onto television with a wonderfully forgettable commercial. Our commercials won a certificate of creative excellence, at the biggest awards festival for television commercials in the world recently, in the United States. And I've just been awarded two certificates at the prestigious Clio Awards in America for the most effective use of humour in advertising and for the best series of television commercials across all categories in all countries. They've been shown on all your top rating programmes in Australia, like the Logies, they're rated 43. And we've been in 60 Minutes, which, uh, which don't do too badly. We've been seeing some great movies last year and this year with a lot more to come. And later this month, we're in the Olympics. Oh, I never thought I'd be in the Olympics. I think the way things are going, I'll probably be the only one who is in the Olympics. You'll be seeing a lot more of me this year on your telly. There's another series of Minder running on your ABC and a completely new series called The Bounder started on Channel 7 a few months back. There's a lot going on this year, so I hope you're doing all you can to show the flag. Because more and more punters are out there looking for a flag because they know it's a sign of a first-class motel. As well as all the ads on the telly, we've got underrated holidays in magazines, including the Australian-made holidays my old mate Oges has been telling you about. We've got the authorised travel agent scheme underway, the new building in South Melbourne, the new computer, Collins Street CBO, and the Australian Tourist Commission is flogging away in countries like this to trap thousands of poor punters into booking into flag inns in Australia and New Zealand before they've even left home. <laughs> oh, by the way, before you leave Rome, a few sightseeing tips for what they're worth. If you're on any drugs or medication at all, leave them in your hotel the day you do the Changi prison tour. We can't afford to be away all that long, can we? It is not necessary to wear your wellies in the Tiger Balm Gardens, but it might be wise to take an umbrella or wear something on your head to the Jurong Bird Park. And if you want to see the crocodile farm, you better make it snappy. <laughs> make it snappy. <laughs> you, Singapore is famous for raffles, of course. But don't buy any tickets in raffles while you're there. I can sell you as many as you like at a special price for my flag friends, of course. Well, keep the lomma till Andy, and keep up the good work when you get back home. Show the flag proudly whenever you can. And remember, I don't like going home to an empty bed any more than you. I'll leave you with uh, them again now. I think Chris has a few little details for you. Is that right, Chris? Oh, Marcus, how's the uh, agency going? You're, you're really growing, I hear. Oh, that's a lovely cafe. Give him my love, will you? Pardon? Yeah, yeah, yeah I guess we are uh, holding things up. I'll give you a ring. Yeah. Blue Sapphire, how did you know? Yeah, OK, 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 OK. Well, it's been a pleasure. Yeah, yeah. Bye for now. A lot of people have asked me why I want to join Flag Inns. Why, when I've got a perfectly good motel, my own impeccable reputation for providing the finest lodgings and hospitality, what would I want to go and join Flag for? I mean, is it a measly couple of nick that they save me on soap because they buy it in bulk? Not bloody likely. Is it for the prestige of belonging to an elite group of motel proprietors that satisfy some egotistical urge? Hardly. 
I tell you why I want the flag in my forecourt. Because people like you are deluded into thinking that a motel with a flag out the front is somehow better than one that hasn't, specifically mine. Now, I'd like to take this opportunity to correct what appears to be a common misconception, totally unfounded, believe me, the commonly held belief that my own humble motel seriously applied to join flag ins and got the elbow. There is no truth in this whatsoever. However, I, I can understand that many of you might have gained this impression, even though it is totally incorrect. The truth is, I wouldn't want to join a chain of motels just to benefit from their reputation for integrity, reliability, and a high standards of facilities and hospitality. Not unless I knew, in my own heart, that everything was above board, if you take my meaning. I mean, there's not much point in joining something that just anyone can join, is there? And naturally, any motel that's even half all right would want to join the biggest and best accommodation chain in this part of the world if they could. I knew, I knew, I knew only too well that my lodgings, the way I took them over from their previous proprietor, were not exactly up to the standard of a first-class motel. I didn't need nobody to tell me that. So, before I started spending my hard and Nelsons fixing up the odd thing here and there, I decided to put flag to the test. And of course they fell for it right off. But they came through with flying colours, I must admit. The flag inspector had no idea that she was part of my ingenious plan to see if flag was good enough for me, rather than the other way around. I personally have nothing against flag ins. As a matter of fact, I hold them in very high regard. I put them to the test, and they proved to my own satisfaction that they not only set the standards, but they maintain them and all. Now, naturally, I don't agree with everything flag get up to, but it's only to be expected. I mean, I was brought up in a school of hard knocks. Nothing for nothing was what I got, and that was good enough for me. Everything has its price and people do not appreciate what they don't have to work bloody hard to get. But flag, they've got gratis itis, if you ask me. All the time they're giving things away, gratis. Well, take the in directory, look at it. I mean, colour pictures on every page. More than 400 motels with location maps, rates, all their facilities, with a flag rating and all. There's more in here than most books you'd pay four or five quid for. And flag, give them away, gratis. It don't make no sense to me. They sell themselves short, they do. They even admit it. I mean, look, have a butcher's at this end. Flag underrated holidays. Underrated? In this book, Grays, of course, there are hundreds of holidays, a weekend or a whole week, up to 30% under the normal rate. But, but no, no, wait, 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 wait for it. If this isn't the daftest thing you ever heard, every motel gives you a special bonus as well. Like free wine here, free champagne there, free tour at this one, dinner for two and a double pass to something or other. Underrated? Bloody understatement. As if that's not bad enough, they come up with this free eighth night caper and give you the bloody room for nothing. I mean, next thing, they'll be paying you to stay with them. All you have to do is stay at about four different flag inns any time across six months, and when you've stayed seven nights, your eighth night is gratis at any flag inn anywhere. God. We entrepreneurs, we self-sacrificing proprietors of welcoming inns all over this wide brown land, provide all the facilities and hospitality that we have to give for this gratis. I don't know, I really don't. I mean, I could go on, but, but, but to be straight, I find it a bit distressing. I mean, for companies, they fall over themselves. Here, have a free credit card. Oh, don't bother about paying a deposit. How do you like the rebate? Very polite word, rebate, isn't it? Planning a convention? Oh, have a free flag convention directory. Floor plans, a function rooms, amenities, facilities, equipment, services. They give every bloody thing to everybody, but they won't give me a two-bob plastic flag to stick on my forecourt. With one phone call to any flag booking office, or any flag motel for that matter, Flag Super Sally Computer can book you in anywhere instantly, and there's no fee for that. But whenever I call the head office to check on my application for membership, they refuse to accept the reverse charges. Why do I want to join flag-ins? Because it can get pretty lonely looking after 35 empty rooms. Right, Henry, my son? Henry? Henry? Hello? Cooey. Hello? I don't mind telling you, there were moments that got a bit dodgy while we were shooting these commercials, though. It's not all beer and skittles, you know. Be two, take one. <clears throat> <clears throat> Action. A lot of people ask... 
I do want to rehearse this, you know. He's right. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people have asked me why I want to join Flaggins. Why, when I've got a perfectly good motel, my own impeccable reputation for... for, for Is it for the prestige of belonging to an elite group of motel proprietors that are satisfied? Oh, shit. <laughs> we entrepreneurs, we self sacrificing provide, 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 provide. So, instead of cash, I get about 30% off the rate for a week or a. Oh, fuck. Yeah. No, 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 not 30% off that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Incidentally, apart from the small part I've been fortunate enough to play in the strategic development and creative execution of all the adverts, your agency asked for a bit of a leg up with the media negotiating. Now, I'm pleased to be able to say that as a result, it's going to look very much like flag ins own every bloody TV station in the country. If there's anyone that doesn't see every one of our cinematic masterpieces, it's a fair bet they haven't got a telly. Now, as a matter of fact, I just happen to have come into a limited number of very rare imported sets. Yet none of your rubbish, mind, that I can let go for, say, ton each? Can't say fairer than that. Anyway, as I was saying, these commercials are part of a brand new marketing push by the Toffs in the head office. Now, the idea is to lean on the opposition a little harder. Know what I mean? No, 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 none of your rough stuff. That is not our line. But just let them know who the governor is. Look, there's going to be a lot of activity out there. Stand on me if there isn't. All your major media, your point of sale bits and pieces, all through the year. With, of course, special attention during your holiday lead-ups. We'll be out there waving the flag, the lads and I. So it all comes down to you and how you treat the punters when they get there. Let them know they've stayed at a flag in. Because when they're out there on life's highways and byways, we want them to see that flag and know it's a sign of a first-class motel as well as letting them know that they can save a few solves as well. Look, it wasn't my intention to take all the credit, and I therefore appreciate it if you give your undivided attention for a moment to someone who was a great help. <laughs>